time welcome to another video and today i'm going to give you my quick thoughts on the zowie ec3 or ec1-c mouse here it's a new version from zowie upgrading their ec class mouse to improve it with a few different changes a few people asked me to take a look at it so today i'm going to give you a quick review on what's changed what my thoughts are and then we'll just do that basically just straight off the bat here three sizes now instead of two which is good it only comes in black and matte they're using a 3360 sensor and although this is a good sensor probably one of my favorite sensors it should be the 3389 so they haven't really improved that, which is a bit of a shame. It doesn't got any software. Another interesting change is it's now got a 24-step scroll wheel. Looks like the rubber changed on one of them, although you can't see it on that one. Be interested to see if it's optical or not, and if it's going to really change the feel of it, because the 16-step, which is the default, is horrible. I know a lot of people like it for bunny hopping, but for me, I just don't like it for general browsing or anything. It's okay in games. Reduce the weight. Nice one. We'll take a look at that in a minute with some of the sizes. And they've also had a power cord cable, which is a must it's always needed this. Anyone that sent me any mice to mod has always wanted a power cord cable because it uses a rubber cable, which has been so inflexible. And that's a nice change to see there. Some of the tweaks you can see on these pictures is the cable stress relief here has been changed. They've now pointed it up, which is good. It used to come flat out. And now they've tweaked that to give it a better angle, stop the cable dragging on the mouse pad itself. And from what I can tell from the skates, they look pretty default, which is a bit of a shame. Would have been nice for them to put some speedier skates in. I'll we'll give you that option in the packaging, but at the moment using the default skates, which are generally control based. Measurements wise, like I say, there's three now. So they've created these three sizes. If you compare this to the original ECU2 and ECU1, you can see some of the weights and the dimensions. What it looks like they've created is the medium EC2 is 120 millimeters, 90 grams. And their equivalent EC3C here is a smaller version, but it's still 120 millimeters. It weighs 70 grams, so they've removed. Was that 20 grams? Move 20 grams of weight out of it, which is good to see. The rest of the dimensions are the same 61 at the front, 43 at the back. So it's 41 at the back, so it's slightly lower back instead of 43. So they've shrunk it a little bit, this curve. Not bad. And then you've got a 124 millimeter one, 73 grams, and the bigger 131 millimeter, which is 80 grams. If you look to the large, you see one is 128 millimeters. 97 grams. You've saved 17 grams, slightly bigger mouse, the new EC1C here. 42 millimeters at the rear, 43 again, it's slightly lower than the new one. Both with a, so it's got a slightly lower arch at the top hump, but it's got a slightly higher front, 34 millimeter front to the 33 millimeter front here on the original one. A few tweaks to the shape by the looks of it, as well as the weight. Nice to see they're starting to bring the weight down here, not drilling it. 70 grams is a pretty good weight, and these are pretty big at 80 grams. Grip wise, it still looks the same. You can see some comparisons here. You can see they've got power cord now instead of the rubber one. Reduce the weight, 16 step. They call it regular weight here. <laughs> okay. Um, still in the standard matte finish, um, black. Standard grips, nothing really changing here. Don't think that kind of ergonomic design, but they have to tweak the length of it. It's still got no software. You've got um, default sends underneath. 125 polling, 500 and 1,000, which the 3360 has. And default, DPI steps 4, 100, 800, 60, and 3200. Side buttons look the same, going to be mushy, as they always have been. They need to change that design. Hopefully they have. We'll have to do a tear down and see. Or left and right, so probably how I know. Switches, although they don't say in here, but they're not saying they're upgrading the switches. They're still saying here it's an optical scroll wheel. So that'll be interesting, like we said. We'll have to check that out to see how aggressive it is. It was pretty aggressive. In their older line, I didn't particularly like it. You could do a mod to take the spring out. I wasn't a fan. And here you're showing the different skates you can get. You can get the black ones, which are default. And then you can upgrade as a, as a accessory, uh, accessory sold separately. You've got the white speed version. It'd be nice for them to put a set of speeds and a set of slows or control in it in the box so you can pick. It looks like you're going to have to buy some speed skates if you want. Not test the DC, how good they are though. Something like hyperglides might be better still, which people generally like on this mouse. And that's it. So a few nice changes here from Zowie. Good to see him updating it. Could have done with changes in the sense, potentially, but it'd be interesting to see how those sizes make a difference in terms of the increments of higher and lower in the hump. And good to see they've got three sizes now. So that's it. My thoughts. It's probably decent. I think they're good and slightly better. I made a few more amendments to it. I want to check the scroll wheel. They should have put a 3389 in it. And it'd be nice to get the skates, both speed and control in the same box. But no everyone does that, that'd be something Zowie do probably differently to everyone else, but... We shall see. Catch you later.